Hello friends, I hope you are doing well wherever you are and your pocket is full of money. If you saw the previous video, I tested this mineral and extracted the metals in it. If you remember, I stressed a lot on accuracy in the testing process and said that if the work is not done cleanly and the obtained chloride is not carefully acid washed, the final product will be of poor quality. Friends, it's very interesting that only a few people like out of 1000 people. It takes 4 days to make a video, while it only takes a second to like, so help me get more views. Did you see this clean silver? If the extraction process is done carefully and cleanly, you will get shiny and pure metal. I turned this mineral sample into metal through a chemical process in this solution. This can be done easily by using only a few iron nails. Be careful, friends, where you have to use metal, you cannot use the sulfate of that metal. For example, I used iron metal here because it was not possible to use iron sulfate to precipitate metals in the solution. Iron atoms and molecules exchange their places with ions in the solution as much as possible and turn it into metal. This process is considered a basic test and you can easily do it. Now I will do the test again in front of you to make sure. Friends, pay attention to the color of the solution, the solution is not yet colorless and one color can be seen in the solution. This means that there was a metal or metals in the solution with which the iron nail could not exchange atoms and molecules. I don't want to go into it right now because we are getting away from the main topic. Of course, sometimes the presence of color in the solution can be due to the excessive decomposition of the iron nail itself, which is turning into iron sulfate. Because iron has been able to precipitate metals lower than itself in the table as much as possible. However, colors can carry messages and it is necessary to carefully monitor all the details when testing. I will use aluminum in the next video to compare the results. I previously powdered this mineral sample, which contains gold, silver, and copper, and dissolved it in an acidic solution, and after filtering this solution, a blue color was obtained. You can see the details in the previous video. Now I want to put an iron nail inside it and see the process for yourself. Friends, please note that gold is present in this mineral in the form of sulfide. Pay attention to the good explanation so that you don't end up wasting time later. First, hold the iron nail in your hand to witness part of the molecular and ion exchange. That black halo that goes to the bottom of the container is gold because gold is heavy and does not stay suspended. Also, if the solution contains a lot of sulfur, that black halo may be seen more intensely. If the sulfide ore does not contain gold, the aura will be orange. That is, if you test a pyrite mineral that does not contain gold sulfide, it will appear an orange halo. I am not using the stenose test here because this is not an aqua regia solution. Note that gold sulfide does not require the aqua regia method. To extract gold sulfides from the mine, you can use cyanide or theocyanide, the theocyanide method has less risks than cyanide. If you want me to show these two methods, just say it in the comments. These two methods are more economical than acid for working in high tonnage. Acids are used when you want to increase the purity of your gold or silver bullion. E.e. here, ion exchange took place and some metal was formed. Now the question is why it does not settle and floats on the surface. This means that the ore also contains some zinc, and this zinc is repeatedly included in the recovery cycle of other elements in the solution, so that it decomposes and changes its place with other metals, and then the metals settle down, interesting, does not it? Therefore, the chemical behavior of mineral soil cannot be predicted and each mine has its own technical and chemical characteristics. When you dissolve a piece of gold in acid and re-precipitate it with iron sulfate or whatever, it's completely different than what you're doing in soil. Two disturbances in the mine soil make the process of gold extraction difficult. These two are lead and sulfur. But don't worry, I have found good solutions for them. 
Friends, in addition to my YouTube channel, you can also join the Telegram group and be in touch with the whole world and even buy or sell ornamental or mineral stones. This channel was created with the aim of creating a healthy business and is currently free. Suspended particles will settle after a few minutes. You have to be patient in doing the tests because it takes hours for the result of a test to be known. Do not forget to use a mask and glasses because some chemicals may be thrown out of the glass due to the reverse reaction and cause serious damage to the face and eyes.
This reaction may take several hours. So, until now, you have understood how to deposit hidden metals in an acidic solution in a simple way. After the solution becomes colorless and when you are sure that all the metals have deposited, wash the contents of the bottom of the glass with hot water and then melt. I got this metal after melting. In fact, this mine contains these elements, which is a combination of copper, silver and gold. Friends, I don't have any mines and I have brought these samples from different places and some have been sent for testing. In the cyanide and theocyanide method, the work method is very simple and convenient. In the end, you get a metal ingot consisting of several metals, from which you deposit all the metal during a chemical step, and the work is done. I may show the cyanide and theocyanide method in the future, it depends on the likes and support. Friends who want to use special training can send a message on Telegram so that I can consider a training course for them. This mineral contains zinc, platinum and silver and probably has a low percentage of gold. I plan to work on its platinum processing, and the working method will not be the same as you saw now, but I will try to provide a method that is simple and applicable at the lowest cost. I have collected many minerals that will be presented in the form of video over time. And, of course, I will work specifically on the types of gold sulfides that many people have problems with. Friends, study work is really time consuming and it takes days and weeks to present a ready video. I hope I can prepare all of Friends, to support me in the projects I present, just like and comment and become a member. Your support motivates me to continue working. Thank you all around the world.